doing these six tips that I'm about to tell you all and yeah just sticking to what you want what you say you're gonna do when you, so by clicking on this video that tells me that it's something that you feel that you want to do whether it might be five pounds 20 pounds 100 pounds and by clicking on this video that lets me know that you can do it because you are looking for the resources to do it and by you already started out the right path you already started doing what you need to do so it's i can't wait to see you um lose this weight i know you can do it and i'm going to give you these six tips watch them get out a piece of paper take notes and keep me posted on your results and everything like that because i want to know did this help you um and let's see so our try to do daily practices to help you learn and help you get your personal development uh you want to really focus on yourself at least 20 to minutes a day and just really get some sort of inner peace going on inside of you i feel like that really helped me i'm honing on to so many different things i felt like not only did i lose a lot of physical weight i left a lot i lost a lot of weight in my mind too because i've been dealing with things that i wasn't that was holding me back from losing the weight if that makes any sense so it's just a matter of like truly honing in on what what's your goals and make it a daily practice to do it i don't care what the doctor has said to you that anything under god's will is possible and don't give up on yourself don't give up on yourself no matter what so i feel like breakfast lunch and dinner is so important i know different financial situations happen and honestly when i first started off i was like uh that sounds like a lot like i don't even know where my next meal is coming from so that helped me to hone in on just so many other things that i needed to work on in my life right like i need to get my life together so i think for me um just focusing on meal planning and proportions and you know eating healthy i think it was actually more affordable because you don't try to just go indulge it at one big time because you got this thirty dollars or fifty dollars you know you'll still use that to do what you need to do throughout the day and i think that was super important i hit my pen because my nerves are bad Okay, so make sure you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm not going to tell you like exactly what to eat because I feel like everybody eats different stuff. However, I do tell you like to eat like like be specific and be you know aware that you want to eat healthy. So whether you start the day off with oatmeal or um, eggs or um, sausage, you know whatever you just really want to. Um, you can do bagels, you know, whatever you do, just make sure that you don't overdo it. I guess that's m more so my thing. Like, it's not how you do it is what you do. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. However, just make sure you do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Try to eat more vegetables in your diet. I suggest that is that's obvious though i feel like certain things is so obvious that if people just really buckled down and did it it wouldn't be like so bad you know so greens vegetables vegetables fruit stick away fruit is cool but eat vegetables eat vegetables fruit is amazing eat fruit too but vegetables okay so also Step three would be work out at least three to five times a week. Work out 
at least three to five times a week. Work out at least three to five times a week, okay? Consistently, consistently. You're going to notice a change. Give yourself 30 days consistently. Five, three to five times a week. Three to five times a week. I'm not telling you how long you got to work out. These can be 10-minute workouts, hour-long workouts, three-hour long workouts. Three to five times a week. Start where you are. Don't be scared to start where you are. You might not even be able to get off the couch, but you start working them arms. Start. Start where you are. Start where you are. Start where you are. Three to five times a week. Make sure you talk to your physician. I don't want nobody to hurt themselves. But three to five times a week. Number four, your support system. Your support system is so important. The people you keep around you will help you get through this weight loss journey even faster, even more. Um, you know, you can get to your goals way faster than I did, you know, by just really, I'm giving you information that if I learned this sooner, I would have been here sooner. But everybody has a journey, right? So it's not about getting there the fastest, it's just about getting there. So it's not a race, it's a marathon. So yeah, just um, keep a support system around you. People that really care about you, really care about your health, and also people who care about them, their own health. A lot of time we surround ourselves with people who don't care about themselves. And unfortunately, those type of people cannot help you on this journey. You have to get around strong-minded people who are already moving in that direction and they will be able to help you keep going in that direction. If you keep trying to pull people from all these different directions, it just won't work. So just really just hone in on the people that really want to lose weight and that's going to be the conversation. You guys want to have healthy conversations. You guys are going to talk about what you guys, you know, desire to eat and all that. And it's going to be good. It's going to be easier because you're not going to feel alone. You know, that's the word, that's the enemy's territory when you feel alone. So just make sure that you keep people around so that you have a support system. It don't have to be a thousand people. It could be one person, you know. A lot of times we don't give that one person that's doing that support enough credit. And if you just had that one person, whether it be a dog, whether it be a real person, that's sometimes all you need. So don't feel bad about you not having this whole fleet of people telling you to keep going because at the end of the day the same people you don't want to get too caught up in caring about who telling you to keep going because if you care about who telling once soon as somebody say something negative that's gonna hurt you that's that's what for me i was so used to people being like yeah 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 go that when somebody was like when it was like crickets and i didn't hear nothing i didn't know how to take it so just it's just a matter of just keep going throughout no matter what keep going so um, number five is stay consistent. You want to stay consistent. You want to, I started the video off kind of with number five, but just stay consistent, stay positive. It's not, it's easier said than done. I know that. I know that it's easier said. I know with so much stuff going on in the world, so many things come against you that you probably feel like you barely can wake up you know, but at the end of the day, it gets better. And, you know, not everybody's in that bad of a situation. Some people are actually doing really good in life. And you just got to hone in on the, those people. Like I said, go back to the next one, the support system. Keep positive people. Keep people who are doing things around you. And that's going to make it so much easier for you just to stay consistent. Um, I have friends that work out and we I kind of just send pictures and like look at you know and it's just that you got it oh look at you you look great those type of people those are the people you want to stay consistent with and just you know keep that energy flowing um anything you do 
over repetitively, repetitively you're going to get it. Whether you break that cycle of negativeness and you're going to keep doing that, that's what you're going to keep getting, you know? But if you break it, you can, can start getting some positive stuff too. So it's just a matter of honing in on your power. Okay, and number six is drink water and eat healthy. Drink water. Water, 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 water. Drink water. I literally just started drinking soda again, which is probably like the worst because I'm like, why are you drinking soda? But drink water. Don't listen to me. Drink water. Like, I lost so much weight drinking water. I still drink a lot of water. I'll drink a soda, but I still drink a gallon of water a day. Like, no matter what, if I drink something else, I'll still make sure I drink my water. And water will keep you, your metabolism faster to keep your digestive system working and your skin will start growing. It's just so many things that come with, uh, your, you smell better. It's just so much benefits of drinking water. So just drink a lot of water and put some lemon in there, get creative with it, drink water. I know it's a lot of alkaline and all that. Drink water. A lot of people can't afford the alkaline. Drink the water you can afford and if you can afford the alkaline, get it, drink it, love it, eat healthy. It's not that bad. It's not torture. Don't don't make this thing a torture. Don't make it like. Don't make it like you can't have fun with it. You know, have fun with it. Go hiking. Go out. Get into the world. Get active. Get active. That's the point of this video is to get active. So I'm excited for all of you that are about to start losing weight. A lot of people have been asking me about this video. So definitely drop that like. Let me know if it helped you out in any type of way. Also, let me know when you're going to start. And let's make some commands and say, I'm going to get started now. I'm going to get started next week. Put your day. Put your goals. Set those goals. Let me see those goals in the comments. And yeah, let's do it together. All right, you guys have a great day.